ninaegemea side ya Rapudo zaidi. I don't know if you guys get me but yes, that's my opinion and I'm entitled Welcome back to Efox number one stop to entertainment and trending news. Following everything that has been happening with Kennedy Rapudo and his baby mama, someone who believes him and strongly feels that there are toxic baby mamas out there is none other than Nurse Judy. Now she gave her own experience as well that she almost became a toxic baby mama during the separation with her husband. Based on what she has been following on this story of Kennedy Rapudo and his baby mama, she felt that maybe the baby mama might be toxic and for this one she will be siding with him without saying too much let's dive in and listen to nurse judy and what she had to say about this i really don't like being opinionated about other people's drama and scandal once and secondly i've been following this online and i stand with rapudo 100 percent but also i'm not gonna be quick to judge the baby mama because i know how this thing happen sometimes mambo ni matatu ama ni mawili maine let's break them down baby mamas can be toxic for real i almost became one and i'll give you that story shortly uh deadbeat is a real thing the other thing baby mamas they we have the uh, natural instincts where we feel like we are the only people who can really take good care of our kids and you feel like you're the only person who can offer a good safe environment you know, there's that genuine concern but again you have to remember when you two separate ways the other person have the right to their child as well so ego mother in zako unajua when you so the other thing that is usually an issue mtu mwenye haja move on there is always gonna be an issue unapata like before mmoja wenyu move on your co-parenting okay but the minute mmoja wenyu tu ame move on eh chaos i'm gonna give you my story so we separated for one year and to come up we are going to do co-parenting because we're better off co-parenting because our issues were too much and we couldn't handle them to come up we are going to separate us we do co-parenting in the first stages the first few months we were co-parenting it was goals 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 Mwah. hey it comes to a point we can realize who you mtu ameenda you know nilikuwa na feel like ah, there's still a chance probably to ni a separation for like one year to end up to go to one and yeah kuna watu wengine wazuri than us together and then probably at some point god is going to bring us together hey siku moja mimi sijamkia nikapata this man has moved on ameenda ha shakarabu agana this man has gone so the first time nearly throw tantrum as a toxic baby mama i became toxic umesikia tumekuwa tukikoparent vizuri we are goals now the first time i became toxic is when i realized it's like this man has moved on and now he may like every friday he has to go and see his girlfriend because he has a life and he has a right to because all, all these other days he's a very good father intentional father like sometimes i feel like he makes a better parent than i do unapata monday friday to uh, all the days of the week ako home na fika mapema yeye anapenda kaka kwa hiyo intentional amefika job afanye homework na watu wao acheze cheze na wao acheze cards na tayana acheze ball na dashan so ikafika point every friday he has to go and see the girlfriend and then there's a time akachukua weekend to go out of town with the girlfriend oh my god i lost it i became toxic do you know nilisema i want my kids taken out of tanzania kama umeamua utakwanga unaenda uko ku spend time na malaya wako unasikia tu ni one weekend tu amechukua in one weekend this man has just decided to go and treat his girlfriend na mimi jo nime catch feelings nimeona yenyewe he imenda guy imenda oh my god i threw mega i threw a mega tantrum you people nikaanza kusema you know what i want my sister to go and collect my kids and ship them back to kenya waende wakae na sister yangu mr itikia atisijui atakuwa anaenda anaenda kutana nao malaya na acha watoto wangu na sasa hizo tu is just one weekend guys one weekend cuz he's an adult and he's dating and he is entitled to but sasa mimi hapa because nimeona sasa enyewe ukweli truly this one has gone I pulled the card so I can plan how will I frustrate this man and you see we've been co-parenting well everybody has been doing their part financially where I was supposed to help I was helping in relation to the kids he was doing the same in terms of time in terms of finances by the he's a 
good ad intention mpaka ni kwa sima guy huyu akienda ndio ipatana na mwanaume anajua kukua like such a good dad wapi yani there are so many things about this man ni kwa na feel guy if this man goes to another woman that hey ah uh, ah uh, i'm not ready so ikanifanya nikaanza kukua toxic so na nika realize is this is actually how people become toxic this is actually how people become toxic wow easily just like that in a snap of second because we were just doing fine and then all of a sudden i'm here fighting him i'm here telling him oh sasa ume kama umeamua ni malaya kama umeamua kuchuza malaya over watoto wetu one weekend guys ameamua tu amechukua friday saturday sunday apeleke kadem ka enjoy na mimi hapa nishaanza kusema kama umeamua maisha utakuwa ni malaya tu over my kids i want my kids to be shipped out of tz back to kenya that is toxicity my guys it was not anything to fight at for my kids our party time because this man was giving the kids time but i want now to frustrate him by taking the kids from Tanzania Tanzania warudi Kenya akai bila watoto basi ni frustrate because kwanza ninajua he's a good father najua napenda watoto wake najua nikichukua watoto from him he's it's over for him he's like nothing without his kids he loves his kids so much so guys when i say baby mamas can be toxic from my own experience for two seconds i almost became toxic and then nikajita kama mkutano nikaji unaza uzuri about mimi nafanyanga kitu alafu na realize ai by the way judy mimi ni mtu wa ku kuweza ku realize my mistake haraka so nika realize what i had done and i corrected it do nika realize but nika realize kumbe zindo vitu zinafanyanga watu wanakunga toxic so in this one the reason why na feel ni kama na support rapudo cause from the story i have followed that kachai kinley i i have followed like my life depends on it sometimes it's a drama guy it's so hard to mind your own business when kenya is this full of to drama and to gossip here and there you know <laughs> so i've been following kinley and from what I have followed me I stand with Rapudo like 100% like that man is a good dad and I can't tell that even from the receipt even from the way he decided of the story I don't know I could be wrong and that's why I'm saying sometimes when you never understand uh his side of the story that perception and you to understand nayo I could be wrong I could be right I don't know mambo za watu habita yelewa and no manana semanga sometimes people are just quick to judge people online throwing insult and hate maybe watu wakimbia kwa ule kama una support rapudo na kimbia kwa baby mama una mtu kana but hata wewe baby mama he she could be genuinely concerned that you know or, see what tuna nanga sa zile zile content ambaria na eka on the internet of which i don't know how to feel about that M- maybe most women would be concerned like i don't want my kid to go to that house because i feel like they are gonna be influence of that kind of a thing but pia when you look at it sometimes that mimi and my husband we do like daddy things and we don't necessarily do in front of the kids but we can do that and record and post it online but doesn't mean that because we are doing it now we usually do in front of the kids you know that kind of i don't know i'm really trying to understand from both side but ninaegemea side ya rapudo zaidi I don't know if you guys get me but yes that's my opinion and I'm entitled to my opinion na mtu sijaribu kukama at me saying oh wewe mwenyewe hata sijui nini yeah mimi i own up to my own shit and I'm not against the baby mama she could be having her own genuine reason but I know baby mama bottom line can be toxic and they can be toxic in a way that now because they are bitter they will try to frame it and make it look like now the baby daddies are deadbeat which is so wrong because we have like truly people who are deadbeat but we have people who are actually trying to be in the baby's life but the moms are making it difficult and then they turn around the table to make it look like the dads are deadbeat but you made it difficult like sasa kama hii weekend he was supposed to have the kid for a birthday party and then amekataza mtoto access and the kataza the dad access and the kataza mtoto ilikuwa no show and then uh, in a couple of months or years or even immediately atambia mtoto oh you know even your dad never showed up for your birthday he doesn't love you kwanza si wa mama na hapa kuharibu jina kwa nini kuharibia i know baby mamas can be toxic free our men from toxic baby mamas eh, and my stomach is stomaching damn you mkaho you're hot you're very hot here opinionated about other people's life na yako imekushinda but in life and not in a bad way but mtu kama Simba Marara anapati ni Marara anapati anga watoto wake i think every other man should be given the right to their kids <laughs> if you know you know 
Alf, that is one person who believes Kennedy Rapudo. Do you agree with what Nas Judea said? You are up to date. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified once you have any new uploads. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.